television dude here and I've been unofficially tagged by TechRomancer1 so I thought I'd just play along but I'm changing the rules here I'm not doing just one tag I'm doing two tags because I've been wanting to do the top five tag and I'll do the 90s tag as well I might change one of the questions and change this up a little bit and do it as a mixed tag make my own rules as I go but first I want you to you can look at this hat again while I'm talking here this hat is magic I wear this no matter where I go now lets people know that I am a retro gamer I wore this hat into a store the other day the cashier seen my hat and he's the one who directed me to that retro store that I just bought all the Atari games from so this hat is magic. One of the best purchases I've ever made. So let's start here with the 90's tag. Favorite movie? Uh, this was a tough choice but I had to go with Pulp Fiction. There was other great movies in the 90's. I could have went with Goodfellas, Carlito's Way, Donnie Brasco, Boys in the Hood, heck even The Crow awesome awesome 90's movies but I went with Pulp Fiction let's see here favorite TV show my favorite TV show was Seinfeld best sitcom ever made ever since Seinfeld has gone off the air I've not even watched any sitcoms I can't get into them anymore they're just not the same they just they all compare to this show right here I've tried I've tried my best but I just can't watch them favorite cartoon you gotta go with Beavis and Butthead and that says it right there work sucks favorite toy now this is where I'm cheating I don't have a favorite toy from the 90's so I'm gonna show you a favorite toy from the 80's it is called the snake it's made by Rubik's could have went with the Rubik's Cube but the snake was my favorite this is still the same snake I owned from when I was a kid so this thing is uh, how many years old maybe 30 years old close to 30 I don't know if it's 30 but it's close to 30 years old great toy favorite game of the 90's I'm gonna have to go with what TechRomancer1 said and I'm gonna have to go with Castlevania Symphony of the Night still the same copy I bought back then I'll never sell this game even though it's worth lots of money now I could easily make 50 bucks off this game but I would never do that because it's my favorite game or one of my favorite games now we're going to do the top five tag now I got to clear all this stuff off won't be enough room up here top five gaming systems well you know my favorite system of all time is this one right here the Intellivision this is the Intellivision 2 model. This is the one that I owned when I was a kid. So this is the one I thought I'd display off. And our, uh, you know, I, I, I can't put any system above that system. But this next system is pretty, pretty darn close. And it is the Atari 2600. I never had an Atari when I was a kid. You know, my friends had, one of my friends had an Atari, my cousin had an Atari, my mother bought me this thing over here. Well, I never regretted it one bit. You know, I wasn't the kind of kid that said, oh, I got an Intellivision. What's this? You know, I wanted an Atari. No, I, I loved it right off the bat, just because it was mine. Heck, I liked the games better. I even knew the games were better. Even at that young, young age, I knew the difference. I knew the graphics were better, the running man was far superior, but I will admit, 
this is I never owned an Atari until just last year I got this at a yard sale for five dollars and I am so addicted to it right now so addicted that I would put it as a tie with the Intellivision that, that's how much I'm addicted to the games Berserk and Centipede and some of the other ones wow it's like it's a whole new world right now I'm experiencing all these games that I never played before Breakout, Super Breakout, you know you know if I would have had this as a kid I probably would have been I probably wouldn't be in television dude right now I'd probably be Atari dude <laughs> But still, I still got to go with the Intellivision for number one, though. Just because that's who I am. And next system, we got to go with the Genesis. This is, pro this is the second system I ever bought with my own money. And I loved it right from the start. Came with Sonic 2. I mean, I probably played Sonic 2 every day for, for two weeks straight. I mean, I just loved that game so much and I love this system. I was in awe of the graphics at the time and, and I knew what I knew I was buying the right system ahead of time. I knew the Genesis was my system and not the Super Nintendo. I remember even seeing Super Mario in the kiosk at, you know at the, at the local Walmart or Kmart or whatever it was and I was not impressed with Super Mario World. Not at all. It just wasn't for me. The Genesis games that I saw that was for me. I could go on all day about the Genesis, but I got to put that up there. Next, we're going with the PS1. Now, I could have went with the PS2 since it plays both games, and some PS2 games are some of my favorite games of all time as well. But just since I actually owned a PS1 as well, and it just the the feeling I had when I bought this was the same feeling I had when I bought this and got that over there. One of those nostalgia feelings that I still have not been able to top since. You know, I've never felt that feeling again since. Pretty close with the Atari and pretty close with the ColecoVision. But you can't go wrong with the original PlayStation. And the Nintendo 64. I've been so addicted to 64 games over the years. Especially the, the Mario parties. I love Mario Party games. No Mercy, Paper Mario. I mean, I spent hours on hours on this thing right here. I almost added the PS2. I almost added the GameCube to this top five, but I went with this one. Oh, oh no, I'm running out of time here. Okay, top five video game characters. I decided to do this in a funny way, a non-serious funny way. Number five, we're going to go with Mel from Hot Shots Golf 3. That is one of the funniest caddies ever. We're going to go with Waluigi from Mario Party. I love Waluigi. If I ever play Mario Party, that's who I am. Then we're going with uh, the zombie from Resident Evil. We're going with Alucard, or he, or he's, uh, he's not actually not on the thing, but Alucard from Castlevania Symphony of the Night. He, he, he's in there, little guy right there, a little blurry. And finally, we're gonna go with the Chef from Burger Time. Burger Time is my favorite game, so there we go. Top five games of all time. Okay. Number one, you know, has to be, without a shadow of a doubt, Burger Time. And I thought I'd display all three of them there. I still need to get the NES one and the one for the uh, Game Boy Color, and then I'll be happy. Next game, Slam Dunk. Super Pro Basketball. Oh, I, this is where I cheated. Decided to do a top ten instead of a top five. Because I can't do a top five. That's too difficult. Centipede. 
All three versions of Centipede. 700, ColecoVision, 2600. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, and Intellivision. I'm not, I got a mess up here, don't I? Oh, I'm running really, really out of time. No Mercy for the 64. Herc's Adventures for the PlayStation. You gotta play that. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That, that's part of it as well. The two Paper Mario games. Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, Paper Mario for the, tar for the Super Nintendo. NHL 94. Sonic 2. Mario 2. And Shadow Run for the Genesis. I think I covered it all. If I forgot something, oh well. I tried to do this quick. I did too much at once, but run out of time. Five, four, three, two, one. Thanks for watching.